Hey Brewers, B Rad here. It's Friday. Today we're talking about car boys. I always wondered, like, how did that name come about? Does it have anything to do with cars or trucks? What are the sizes? What are the confines? All that kind of stuff. I just thought, like, who the f came up with this with this little design here? So, like, a car boy can also be known as a demijohn. And what I always thought of a demijohn was like that big fucker. It's like 12. It's twice the size of this in a big wicker basket with a big hole in the top, you know, the, the yay big and like about 10 to 12 gallon size. That's what I thought a demijohn was, but it turns out demijohn and carboy are the same thing. Didn't know that. Uh, back in the day, also known as a lady jeanne, that'd be the French one. Uh, it comes from the word, Persian word. I mean, I don't even know if Persian is a term I can use politically correctly these days. I also don't speak ancient Persian. <laughs> from, I think it was first coined in 1683, I believe they said in Karaba, Karaba, Karaba. Not really sure, please help me. <laughs> Just like every time I try to speak a different language. But meaning large flagon or big jug. Big fucking surprise there. The other thing I learned when I decided to do a little bit of research in is even your little one gallon jug. Because of the shape, this is a carboy. Didn't think so. I just thought that was a one gallon jug. Technically a carboy. You also got your plastic carboy, so your PET, little one gallon one here, six gallon one here, seven gallon one here, that's the big boy. They also have many, like these guys, these type of guys are used in laboratories a lot where they will keep solvents and I guess that way they're able to cap it off so they're not as much as able to make it out into the air. They're able to cap it off easy. Also, glass is inert, so most things will not react to it. I mean, these things don't like hot liquids, so there is that, but they'll be used for carrying, you know, solvents, that kind of thing. Uh, the best thing about them is, again, glass is inert. I can use this and clean it and it is fully clean every time and will always be. It'll never take on any properties of anything that it contains, which is what's so great about it now. Whereas with the plastic ones, yeah, after 50 times of brushing, they're gonna start to show their wear. They're gonna look cloudy. It's gonna be probably time to replace them. That's never gonna happen with a glass one. The only thing that's gonna kill your glass one is putting much hot water in it so it shatters or dropping it, which I have done. Not a fun time, it was full. And basically it carried Shards of glass to all four corners of the room that I was in. Uh, Paul was there. It took me all brew day. Paul basically had to do the brew day by himself. And it took me all damn day to clean up that glass. I was bleeding from several places. So like, yeah, there is only one drawback to Carboys, but it's a pretty fucking big one. <laughs> uh, I thought I was gonna read some like cool history about prohibition and you always see these things, you know, rocking back and forth in a, in, a, in the back of a truck and you see you know, them where they're smashing them or they're smashing the barrels to you know, get rid of the alcohol during prohibition, all that stuff. I didn't see anything about that. It turns out that, yeah, large flagon, laboratory uses. I was like, man, this is, I was, I was really hoping for like something cool, cooler than that, but still interesting. And this is, it. this is basically all the sizes. You also have flasks, which are a little bit different because of their shape. But that's it, man, carboys. I, I wanted to know what they're all about, and now I do, and now you do too. Now you don't know where your keys are because you absorbed that. You're welcome. Just get up and forget all this. You'll remember where your keys are. See you next Friday.